Hi. Lord have mercy knows, this is Linda Rogers, also known as Grandmama Rogers to my grand youngins and them. I'm here to preach to y'all the wonderful, true word of the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven, who is a Republican and voted for Bush twice. He also voted for McCain and that wonderful godly lady Sarah Palin. But unfortunately, Lucifer took over the election and let that damn communist, damn Muslim, sickening Obama become president. He's going to release all the blacks from prison, and they're going to run through our streets and just act like monkeys. The homosexuals are going to ride on purple unicorns through our small conservative towns, drag our young men into the streets, and sodomize them under the blood red on a good moon. I'm just seething with the hatred and rage of God. Praise Jesus! For those of you wondering why I'm a bit underdressed, not only is it hot here in the good old south, but God himself just ravaged me. But I'm okay with that because it's Jesus. And I've been married to the Lord Jesus since the day I was born. Oh, he titty-fucked me like I ain't never been titty-fucked before. Praise Jesus. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, y'all damn witches, homosexuals, and liberals. And damn blacks coming up on my goddamn television station and my telegram service here on the internet on this Facebook. Mm -hmm. You anger me. I'm filled with Lord the Lord's rage for all you Satanists and Luciferian sorceresses. I know Aryan warriors at my church and clans members. And they're coming for you, boy. This is a sinner. It's a book of sin. Full of lust. Support for the homosexual agenda. And satanic self-worship. Look at this poor child. She's so lost. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know how she defiles the name of God. By using his name and biblical references in her vile, disgusting music. This woman right here sends out a high-pitched frequency to homosexuals. Only their ears can hear it. She calls them together like soldiers for the Lucifer to defile God's green earth. And it's a sin if you listen to her music. You're gonna go straight to hell. Ugh. I can't even touch this book anymore. I'm going to burn it. If any of you young women out there think that it's alright to go around these bars and clubs shaking your breasts like this, then you're a sinner. These gay men, they go up to these stores, these stores of sodomy, like Lucifer's own little shops of horror, and they go and buy things like this. This is used to make it easier and painless for these sodomites to defile one another's anuses in the name of Satan. This is what men use when they are not fruitful and multiply as the Lord commands. They put this in their unclean rectums that God intended us to have bowel movements from. Yes! These men stick there. They stick their penises in each other's anuses. Ain't that disgusting? And they use this. They've found creative ways to make it pain-free and pleasurable. As Jesus frowns upon these homosexuals. They should repent. Or suffer eternal torment in hell. Lucifer will not be your friend. Sickening. Sickening. I cannot believe some of the shit that's going on in this world. That was the Lord's energy. Protruding through my body. These breasts are for Jesus only. Don't even get me started on that old bammer. Satan himself paved the way for that black man to be the so-called president of this free Christian nation. It just makes me so 
angry I could scream in the name of Jesus. That man is a communist and a liberal. George W. Bush and Ronald Reagan were the best things to happen to this country. If we had more presidents like them, then maybe, just maybe, Jesus might hold off on the end times for a little bit longer. But as far as I'm concerned, my grandyums aren't going to be able to die of natural causes. They're going to die in the Battle of Armageddon. But I'm okay with that. Because Jesus is coming back. And it's all part of God's will. His divine plan for the earth to burn. And all the sinners to be cast into the lake of fire. Praise you, Jesus. Praise him. Ugh. Turn to burn, sinners. Repent.